Hi everyone, this is Sophie. I'm back again with another video. This time it is titled The Spiritual Meaning or Significance of the Color Red. But before we go into the details of this video, you know we have to do the drill. If you love this channel, press the like button. If you enjoy our videos, please like and comment and also make sure you engage the bell button so that you can know when next we post videos uh, like this. Also, please share our videos to also like minds of those who will enjoy things like this. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel so that you continue to receive and see videos like this. So with the drill out of the way, let's get into the video proper. Like I was saying in the beginning, but before I go deeper into this uh, video, let me put also some few questions. Number one, whatever you hear in this video is not a replacement for what medical science can do. If there's a health situation and you require medical treatment, please, this video or whatever it is you can learn from this video does not uh, say you should not go for medical treatment. Two, any spiritual wisdom you learn from the spiritual uses of the color red, Please use it for righteousness sake and not unrighteousness sake. So before I get to this video uh, proper, uh, yesterday one of my children in the church shared a testimony with me and uh, bottom line is, oh, oh, daddy, that, this thing you said about color works. So she uh, had a situation uh, in her organization that was uh, not looking too good for her. And she said, I applied the color white and the next day, the matter was resolved. I cannot go into too many details because of uh, wisdom reasons. So uh, I wasn't surprised it works. I know it works. Okay, let's go talk about red. Red is a color that introduced itself to me spiritually. Uh, I cannot go to explain so much about that right now. It introduced itself to me as fire. Red came to me as fire. And that's how I get acquainted. I got acquainted with the uh, color uh, red. I will explain that. In another video, maybe it's the uh, time for us to go into this again. But one thing I have to say is, please, if you did not watch my first video in the series concerning uh, colors, please, how, that's how to do it, how to work with colors. I will put the link below. Please watch that first, then come back and watch this particular one. Now, fun facts concerning uh, the color red. First, for a fun fact is that the color red is a color that is very predominant in the flag of the nations. That means a lot of nations use red in their color. Now, in the Bible, the word red, color red, is used 15 times in the Bible. I think uh, 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 green is the first color mentioned in the Bible. That's in Genesis chapter 1. I can't go there now. And uh, scarlet is the most used color in the Bible. Now, when God uses or mentions a particular color, whether it's one time or ten times, know that God does not speak carelessly. So I pray that as you watch this video, the Holy Spirit will educate you on how to use the color red in your situations. The red color is a very spiritual color because even in the dark side of the world, you, I mean of uh, spirituality, the burn red candles or red garments or all manner of things, or sometimes they even wear those garments, color red, when they are going to do some kind of evil metaphocusing or spiritual warfare. So you see, if the camp of darkness is using it for the wrong thing, I don't expect you to use it for the wrong thing, use whatever you learn here for the right thing. But the bottom line is that if they are using it, it's because Satan did not invent anything. He stole something from somewhere, and you know that is from God. Of this part of the world, if a pregnant woman sees red in her dream or in a vision, it's a clear message that that is aborted hope concerning that pregnancy. You will not suffer aborted hope in Jesus' name. But I hope you understand the way I'm trying to explain this in that red is a very, very significant color. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to play a, a slideshow mainly of reds. And uh, you can look at it and uh, get the benefits of uh, the color red now in various shades and colors as I could uh, make so that it will bless you spiritually. Red is a color of high frequency and vibration. It's a color that anywhere it is, 
as you are looking at it physically, that is also how high the vibration for that color is. Now, I will start from where I stopped, I mentioned last in the last time we, uh, the last video I, I, I we watched, and that is this particular uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. This is how I taught Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 in our church. It says, Come, let us reason together. If your sin be red as scarlet, the upper stripe, it will become white as snow. If it be as crimson, it will become as white as wool. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. So, the normal character of man is that when they sin, they want to run away from God. But God is saying, If there's a sin issue, don't run. Come. Make we reason them together. When we sit down and reason them together, the matter goes settle. I will make it white as snow. Now, not only issue of uh, sin alone. Look, if you have problems in life, let the problem be as high as heaven or as deep as the ocean depth. Come, make we reason them together. I will make the problem go away. That's what that white stripe means. Come, when we reason them together, I will make your troubles go away. So you see, this is how I taught Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. If you look at it, you see the red in stripes. Why? Because by the stripes of Christ, we were made whole. So when you meditatively look at the red color, imagine the red color, the blood of Jesus in your imagination, and then you make the focuses in divine spirituality fashion. You focus the red maybe on your pain points, maybe on your depths, your rent, your education, your career. I don't know what year the problem is. You transfer it there as the stripes of Christ. Definitely healing will be in place. God does not lie. Because by the stripes of Christ, we were made whole. Red is a very powerful color. Red is the color of romance. So if you want to be in that romantic, groovy mood, <laughs> you put on red. With that high frequency of vibration, definitely, definitely something will be in the air because when you walk into an atmosphere of red, you will be grabbed by the vibration of that color. Now, you may not see the vibration, just like you cannot see this, the sound waves coming out of my mouth, but you are hearing me. That's how frequencies and vibrations uh, operate. Red is a high energy color. If you look at the rainbow, I think it's the first one. At the other end is the blue end, but I don't want to go into all that because that's another discussion for another day. So red has very serious spiritual and physical impact. And uh, God will give you wisdom as you listen to me. So what you do with this color is that when you look at it, you imagine it in your heart, you put your emotions to back it, and you release it into the situation you want sorted out. For example, red, if there's a case of depression, I didn't say you should not treat medically or whatever it is you know to do, but if you play the slideshow of red continually to somebody who is depressed, what will happen is the high energy, the frequency, the vibrations of that red will impact that person. It can help cure that red, that depression situation. If there's a cut or a wound, the wound will heal faster if you play red. That is like the slideshow. I will play after this now. If you play that slideshow on it, you definitely get a testimony. Red is a very important color. It's, of course, it has negative sides and it has positive sides. There's no color that does not have negative side. I mean, from culture to culture, there are various reasons, like a place like China, red is a happy color. But there are some places where if you wear red, it's either you will be seen as an idol worshiper or it's a symbol of death. Red actually is, a color, is the color of danger. Red introduced itself to me, like I said, I don't know whether in this video or maybe earlier on, I can't remember now because, you know, I'm speaking, I don't normally write notes down. Not that, not that I don't have notes, but I prefer to speak to you this way. You know, so I don't, I don't know whether I've said it before. So red is the color that introduced itself to me as fire. And actually, it's the, it's the color they normally use to indicate something is dangerous. Actually, animals run away from where they see fire. Now, there are some animals who make themselves, who are red, to introduce their, themselves to other animals as not safe to eat. So let's let, let's 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 leave that. Red, of course, is the color of love. And if you want to be romantic, you put on red. Red lips, red dress. Just don't overdo it because red is an attention grabber. The vibration will make people look in your direction. Anywhere you have red, you will become the center of attraction. So if you meditate 
on the color red and then you dress yourself in red and you hit the road, <laughs> the attention you will get that day, I just praise the right attention, Sha. <laughs> so red is a very good color. It's an attention grabber. It can heal depression. It can heal wounds. It's a color you... Uh, it's not my favorite color, but it doesn't mean that there are not people who have red as their favorite color. So I don't want to keep uh, saying all so much about it, except to say you, you want energy, you want vitality, you want your adrenaline pumping, you want love, you want attention, you want some healing situation. Red is a symbol you should, you should use. If you're lonely, somebody has low self-esteem, you should watch this slideshow, play it over and over again. You get yourself uh, on the high. It's also good for mental uh, 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 stimulation and all the rest. So I think I should stop at this point so that I can play the slideshow uh, for you. But I believe that you have listened to me. You have heard one or two things about uh, the color uh, red. I think sauna bath people who do all these sauna things are not including colors in some of their products because with those colors there, you set your mood right. So red is a very good uh, 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 color. So what you just simply do, the bottom line is this, as you watch this video, transfer in meditation what you are seeing to the situation you want to take charge of. Please don't use this in a wrong or bad way because it will definitely backfire. So till next time, maybe we'll handle blue or I don't know which color we'll handle next. Huh? Till next time, maybe when you go to paint the town red, please be careful, be with whatever you with whatever you do enjoy yourself and have a great day peace love